coach to beat who used to hang with Jane. What it do, K Mafia? Look, today I'm coming to y'all with a thrifting haul video, man. I'll just show y'all some pieces that I didn't cop not too long ago. Really feel like I should start dropping some more of these. I ain't gonna lie, I've been getting into thrifting a lot more recently, like probably back in. June, July, for real, for real, I started getting back into it. Y'all let me know at the end of the video if y'all fuck with this video today, man. If y'all don't, I might not drop anymore. I don't know, but I'm just getting into it, for real. I know a lot of people, if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out places to thrift at, man. A lot of places around my area is mainly like Goodwill. It's a couple Goodwills here in the city in Roanoke, man. And I consider places like Hamrick's, uh, TJ Maxx a little bit, shit like that. Like, anywhere you can get some cheap clothes for the for the low low but like sometimes it's reused sometimes not you feel me that's really where i be going for the most part goodwill tj maxx hammocks shit like that but i got some tough pieces or some pieces i feel like it's tough uh for real for real that i feel like i want to show y'all if y'all got any recommendations to some other places i should try to go thrifting at y'all comment down below as well put me on game put me on some spots man i'm in Roanoke, virginia though so Y'all, we might not have the spaces y'all got. Like, Roanoke is a small ass city. We barely got different stores and shit like that. I'll still make sure y'all comment because I do pop out to other cities every now and then. When I'm out of town and shit, I might got to pop out to a little thrift and shit. You feel me? Get y'all a video. Another one of my favorite places to thrift that, no cap, online. Online while it's Depop, bro. If y'all ain't hip to Depop, y'all need to get on there. You got to be careful, though. Some motherfuckers do be scamming on there, bro. So, I'm going to just put that out there. Because y'all ain't going to come for me like, bro, they scammy, da, 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 da. It's like any other online selling marketplace, bro. Reselling stuff. Some people do be trying to scam and get over on there. So, just be careful. Be safe. But Depop, Depop, some people be selling some fire stuff for the low, man. But look, bro. We got bouts. Five or six pieces, something like that here that I'm going to show y'all. Some of these pieces I did get back in July. I had a trip back in July, man. And I ordered some stuff off of, I think, Boohoo Man and some stuff like that. And then some other stuff I was thrifting for real. So that's kind of what pushed me to get back into thrifting and shit like that. I also cut some jeans into shorts, a couple of different pairs. Bleached some of them, made some different cool shit with them, which I still ain't showed y'all. I really should have showed y'all them, but I might later on. But shit, yeah, like I said, we got like five, six different pieces right here. Some of them I bought a while ago. Some of them I just got recently about over the last two, three weeks. So I figured why not give y'all a video, let y'all know what I'm getting from the thrifts and everything. So now some of these pieces, of course, I do have the prices for. Some of them I don't have the receipts for anymore and shit like that. But I'm going to try to give y'all my best guesstimate on what I paid for the prices. I mean, for the pieces that I don't actually have the receipt in for still. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show y'all the first piece we got. So the first piece we got is this basic Davidson T right here, man. Just something slight. Probably pay about three dollars for this um, at Goodwill in Charlotte. Like I said, I picked this up in Charlotte, so it ain't surprising that this was in Davidson. I mean, this was in Charlotte with Davidson College basically being right around the corner. Funny thing about Davidson, I really could have went to Davidson and played, bro. I was talking to one of their coaches I'm about playing running back and all that type of shit, man, which I don't know why I didn't follow my college football dreams, bro. That's a whole nother story, man. It was a whole bunch of shit going on, but it's crazy because later on, about a year or two after I graduated, man, my family moved down to Charlotte. Like, if I would've went, I would've been right around the corner any damn way. Like I said, I think I paid probably around three, four dollars for this. We got this Feral Automotive Mechanic Work Jacket, bro. Your regular like khaki color and everything. They got the Ferro Automotive right there on the front of it. Ain't gonna lie, man. I'm thinking about debadging it, taking off the Ferro Automotive badge on here and everything. But other than that, I feel like it's a pretty good piece. Look at that, bro. Really good quality. Um, it is heavyweight material, of course. It's a mechanics jacket, so I bet y'all figured that. I ain't never been too big into wearing stuff like this, but I'm trying to expand my closet a little bit more. So I really saw this piece. I saw it sticking out, man. I was like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and get that shit a try. Plus, it's getting cold down here, bro. It's getting cold as fuck out here. I don't do good in the cold and all that. So it's definitely going to keep me warm. But like I said, comment down below right now. Y'all let me know if I should remove the Feral Automotive badging right here man i'm really thinking about it i think i just wanted to be playing because nigga i don't work there no free promo you feel me like receipt right here i paid two dollars and 35 cents only for that mechanics jacket 
no lies told man so next up we got this true timber camo jacket with the fur on the inside man these jackets typically retail at about 70 to 80 dollars somewhere around there i actually found this jacket at hamrick's for about 12 13 dollars just got it about two weeks ago i really went in hamrick's just find, trying to find a quick little dress shirt um because we had an event going on and everything that we were stepping out to uh, for my mom's birthday i needed to hurry up and find a dress shirt because the one that i had i thought i could fit but i couldn't um so yeah man i rushed out to the store and i actually ended up finding it and yeah, we got that true timber camo jacket on here um i actually just wore it a minute ago to the store for the first time and that sherpa lining on the inside definitely keep your boy warm the quality overall y'all see the design the picture the quality is amazing as far as the graphic and the feel like a medium weight for real for real sherpa lined on the inside so it's definitely gonna keep you warm but it doesn't give you that super baggy or heavy feel when you have it on the sherpa line that kind of feels like places a good barrier between your body and the actual like thickness of the jacket so it doesn't feel like it's super heavy on your body because i don't really like jackets too much like that that feel extra heavy and shit so this perfect bro true timber sherpa line camo hoodie that's the front back right there man that graphic work is insane dog next piece i got up for y'all we actually thrifted this at goodwill man and i actually still got the goodwill tag on it this piece i paid 4.99 for it, as the tag says it's this little pink floyd t-shirt right here I saw this and it met my eye. Low key, I thought about not getting it just because of the Illuminati symbolization and everything, but I know I ain't part of the Illuminati. I ain't really worried about it for real, for real, so. That graphic and shit is hard, bro. I feel like that shit go crazy, no cap. World Tour 1973. I really feel like this one of the best pieces that I got to show y'all in the thrifting hall. I don't think it's the best one for the price paid, but Bro, y'all gonna see what I got next. No cap for this shit right here. Boy, 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 boy. Hey, boy, that motherfucker hard for $5, I'll take it. Got it in a size large, just for y'all's reference. But like I said, man, I'm gonna either put on the clothes throughout the video. Y'all gonna see me with the pieces on, or I'm gonna wait till the end, and I'm gonna have all the clips at the end, man. So y'all just gotta watch. Stay tuned. See how the video come about. You feel me, boy? Five dollars for this pink Floyd tee. Is this a W cop or an L cop, man? Comment down below in the comment section, bro. I think this is an ultimate W cop for this pink Floyd tee. This next piece right here, I actually got a couple months ago as well when I was going on my trip to July. I saw it and it was a basic ass t-shirt. Basic ass Levi's brand t-shirt. And I thought, you know what? Let me cut the sleeves off this motherfucker. I got tattoos and shit. I'm a Chipotle bag, you feel me? I got tattoos and shit. Let me throw this motherfucker on sleeveless, dog. It's a size extra large, um, but it was a full t-shirt, bro. I cut the sleeves on it just so that way I could rock it in the summertime, man. I felt like that really, like, even though it's such a simple ass piece, I feel like cutting the sleeves off it just give it a whole different look for it to be a black and yellow Levi's t-shirt i probably paid about four dollars for it um it was nothing really crazy but i did also get this from goodwill as well like i said it is an extra large so it does fit a little bit big on me but y'all gotta think summertime what i was wearing this way i was wearing this with like a pair of black shorts and everything so lengthwise for it to be a little bit longer to go with the shorts and then a nice pair of sneaks bro it really didn't it really didn't matter like i said man i also copped this from goodwill the same goodwill i got the other piece from man only about four dollars wl cop man now this next piece right here i'm not gonna lie to y'all i can't believe i only got this shit for five dollars if you want to include shipping i paid a total of about ten dollars but for the actual piece this piece was priced at five dollars and fifty cents at depop and this is why i'm i'm one of those people that i will advocate for Depop or buying some shit off of Depop, bro. A lot of people might not like it. I, I love it. It gives like a retro, a retro vibe, retro classic vibe, man. We got this Wisconsin Badgers windbreaker, quarter zip windbreaker. Tell me this shit do not give 
classic retro bro and this piece is in perfect condition that's the crazy thing about it bro like the pictures online it looked like it was in perfect condition but y'all know how things can be especially when you buy and reuse items and shit like that the pictures can oftentimes be deceiving but I got this in and I was completely amazed. It is in completely perfect condition, bro. Y'all know how easy it is to stain or get that like yellow brownish turning color on white clothing materials, especially on material like this. It is completely white. There's no stainage anywhere on the jacket. I've completely checked it and everything. For $5.50 on Depop, bro. I don't think I went wrong. That's honestly the best piece that I feel like I showed y'all throughout this whole thrifting haul. I really wanna keep dropping these videos for y'all, so if y'all like it, if y'all fuck with it, y'all make sure y'all comment down below and let me know. That's the only way I can truly know besides you all liking the video and subscribing and sharing the video, man. Those are the ways that I know y'all really rock with the videos and the content that I'm dropping. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you liking, you commenting, subscribing, shit, comment. Even let me know how your day was or let me know that you're a new sub or let me know that you're gonna share the video with somebody or let me know other content ideas y'all want me to see. I pay attention to the comments, bro. I'm here for y'all. The same way y'all here for me, bro. So just, just vibe out, twin. Join the K-Mod for your fam. Comment down below. Rate all the pieces on the scale of 1 to 10. Let me know what y'all's favorite piece was that I copped here in this thrifting haul. Um, w cops or L cops overall. Average it out type shit, bro. I'm going to keep coming to y'all with content, man. I got hella videos on the way. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all keep, keep supporting me, bro. And y'all know I'm going to keep rocking out with y'all, gang. I'm going to see y'all in some more content soon.